Chris Stapleson for a Western Conference contest with the Los Angeles Clippers here in L.A. Bringing you another edition of the NBA on GK Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg with the fourth member of our team, Doris Burke. Taking a look at Sacramento, this game's going to be a challenge for them. Facing one of the top-tier teams in the league, they'll have to be at their best to steal a win here. Well, things have not gone their way at all. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. That is good. For Chris Paul. Impeccable mechanics this quarter. He's been perfect from the field. Big Daddy's checked in for Jason Thompson. We have the break in the action. Let's show you the teams that have been making their opponents work especially hard over the past 10 games. The Kings in second. The teams they've faced over the last 10 have to be wondering how long this brutal defense is going to last. There's no let up in these teams. They play with. This quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. There's a screen. Big Daddy. The Clippers grab the miss. They traveled to Sacramento last time they faced the Kings and came away with the win. Well, the last meeting was, was a successful one. Very sharp defensively, causing a lot of turnovers. And that swayed the game in that day. He took the opportunity when he saw it. Barnes has got five now. Everything going according to the script for them offensively so far. Yeah, the shots have been falling. That's for sure. The offense really in a good group. Blake Griffin, arguably the top posterizer in the game. Opponents don't like being embarrassed. They'll take a hard, hard foul on him if need be. Some have said that Griffin needs to retaliate for his own well-being. He's got to go back at some of those guys. Here's Jordan. Off target with the jump hook. Misses from short range. The Kings trailed by six. Outside Collison. Landry up top. One twenty-one left in the first quarter. Ball with the steal and pushing it out. Here's Los Angeles. Crawford's shot is good. Beautiful finger roll to cap head drive off. He knows how to finish with some flair and flavor, guys. Kings have gone seven to twelve from the field here in the first quarter. And Griffin has said he thought about retaliating for the hard fouls, but he said, Steve, you know, it might be best for me, but getting suspended would be very bad for my team. I, he had his head on straight obvious. Oh, well, yeah, credit him for trying to get him to school. Not get caught up. But understand that, you know, there's, there's always a two-way street. He, he oftentimes initiates the contact. And he's such a physical player uh, that he's always going get, to get caught up and tangled up with other players. And McLemore gets to Collison. 35 seconds left to play in the first. Sessions dishes to Collison. Just four to shoot. Landry no good. Major defensive lap right there. He's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. You're lucky he couldn't punish him. Crawford's shot is good. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. Yeah, they have the defense on the run right now because every pass seems to have a purpose. They're getting great movement, great spacing, and they're really lining up defensively. The Big Daddy passes to Collison. To the paint. Here's Big Daddy. Runs up empty down low. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. The Clippers on top, up by 10. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment.
Tune in next Wednesday, February 25th. Mark Gasol and the Memphis Grizzlies take on DeMarcus Cousins and the Sacramento Kings. Don't miss out. Jordan's checked in for Griffin. Barnes comes in for Jerkaloo. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for J.J. Reddy. And Paul subbed in for Jordan Farmer. Then for the Kings, Reggie Evans, he's checked in for Cousins. Big Daddy comes in for Thompson. And it's Collison in for Sessions. Crawford and Barnes filling out the wings. Glenn Davis out there with DeAndre Jordan. And it's Paul in at the point guard position. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Davis with a screen on Collins. Paul kicks to Davis. Puts it up. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. I thought overall, Kevin, it was mostly the defensive effort that hurt them. Just no energy, no purpose. Steve, I thought they were late on their rotations. They didn't really communicate well. And as a result, they paid for it. Another strong rebound. Just like we got used to seeing from them today. Yeah, one or two more of those, and this lead will be double digits. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Davis has got his first points of the game. Well, if they didn't look at the scoreboard, you'd think they were the team trailing and trying to fight their way back. Yeah, I like the energy they're playing with here, Steve. I mean, a nice uptick in their second chance points. Here's Barnes. Gay with the block. Another shot from outside. They're not attacking. I mean, going in and seeking contact like they did in the first one, I'm not seeing that. Well, you can't play the score. I mean, you've got to play the game, and I think they've got to continue to attack. You're right, Clark. You've got to mix it up a little bit. Shot's good from Big Daddy. Well, after struggling in the first quarter, he's come alive here in the second. Clippers leading by seven. Davis. T2 from Crawford. And he overshot that one, missing. Sacramento's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. 29 seconds left from the first half of the game. Here's Big Daddy. That ball's great assist by Darren Collison. And now it's only a five-point clipper lead. Los Angeles has gone one or four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Mulligan, Scalison. Right side, Jordan. Strong by Gay. Here's McCallum. And the Kings check on two more. standing by on the sideline, of course. Well, thank you, Kevin, here with Chris Paul. And Chris, you guys came out of the gates blazing, but took off a bit later on. What happened out there? Well, we came out with a lot of energy, but in the second quarter, it died down a little bit. You know, it's real. Everybody's very excited. You know, our team's excited, their team's excited. Bill's was excited, you know what I mean? So we just got to calm down and play a little bit. Chris, thank you so much. Kevin, in this league, you've got to sustain those hot starts. Thank you, and time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow here on 2K Sports. Okay, good job battling them out there. Let's talk about some crucial areas from the first half. If there's something I'd like to see us do as well in the second half as we did in the first, it's get the ball into the low post. They've had no answer when we've gotten it into the paint. I'll say this for us, though. Our shot selection has been terrific. We haven't forced things. And the shots are dropping for us because of that patience. And I want us pounding the offensive glass in this half. If that means sacrificing a fast break or two, so be it. It'll be worth it.
We know we can take their best punches and hang with them. Now it's time to hit them with everything we got and see how they handle it. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Paul's been great. He has nine points, and he's been a good on-the-ball defender, too. He's got a pair of steals. Yeah, he's made some heads-up plays, Clark. He's done a really nice job defensively. Sacramento with the ball. Let's go, you're up. My time. Crawford. And it's formal in for Paul. Carl Landry's checked in for Sacramento. Sessions comes in for Darren Collis. On the court for Sacramento. Kay and Landry are the forward pair. McLemore is up there with Ramon Sessions. And it's Thompson in at the center. Here's Griffin. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, Griffin, a former dunk contest champion, but make no mistake, Blake is a game dunker. Always among the league leaders, and, and his size with that strength, the way he gets off the floor is just unbelievable. That's good from Blake Griffin. I'll ask, does your hand have to touch the rim? You know, I think you don't, you don't necessarily have to have your hand touch the rim, Kevin, but you do have to throw it through the goal. None of this um, raggedy type dunk stuff. Got to control it, nothing. You got to, yeah, control I like the that's the word through. I was looking for. Griffin hits them both. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. That's the big daddy. Takes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Big Daddy's got eight points. Clippers leading by three. Now Farmer. Right now averaging seven points a game. So the wing on the left. Reddit dishes to Jordan. He feeds it to Turkaloo. Just five to shoot. From the strike. And the jumper falls for him. And the Clippers lead by five. And he should thank the defense for those two points, really. Nobody paid him any mind there. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Well, gentlemen, if you ask Coach Doc Rivers about DeAndre Jordan, he's going to say something along the lines of he can single-handedly change a game with his defense. I genuinely see traits of Bill Russell. Jordan said to be compared to somebody like that, I take it to heart is my first, second, and third priority. I know that Doc can still bet it. Kevin? There's greatness and respect to be had doing the dirty work, Doris. Thank you. Davis has checked in for DeAndre Jordan. The Kings also with the sub. McCallum's checked in. Okay, that's a two-pointer. Again, the miss by the Kings. I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. And now a seven-point Clipper lead. 59 seconds left in the third. Gay outside. Andrew with a screen for Gay. And it's going to be a three-second call. Big hands and the ability to anticipate the opening to create a turnover so valuable, especially for a guard, as we see two tremendous talents with their ability to steal that ball away. And of course, you look at the numbers, John Stockton with 3,265 steals over his career. Really a crazy number, average over two a game, and even in his later years, he was a threat in that regard. Matt Barnes has checked in for the Clippers. Farmar passes it to Griffin. Puts up the baby hook. Thomas Trench on the bank shot. Griffin's got 14 points. It's got to be nice for them to know that game in and game out, this offense is going to be there for them. 20 
20 seconds left to play here in the third. Here's McCallum. He's got eight. And the officials have called the illegal spin right there. That's two unproductive trips in a row, ending in turnover. And one thing you can't do is string together those kinds of possessions. It'll really snowball on them. Now, here's Reddick. He's covered by Sessions. Here's Barnes. Out of bounds. Sacramento will take possession. <laughs> I'll tell you what, wandering aimlessly out of bounds like that might earn him a ticket to the bench. Here's Sessions. No good on the quick three. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Los Angeles on top, leading by nine. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. And now we present our State Farm Assist of the Game. With five total assists in the game, we've seen some great passing tonight from Chris Paul. And his passing ability is why they make sure the offense runs through him on a regular Barnes with it. CP3 a point with Reddick near the back. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. And it's Barnes and it's the small forward. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. So the Clippers winning this one easily. Sunday's Park, everything goes right for a team. And I said one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew. Kevin Harlan saying, see you next time. Hey, Rook, keep your head up. Oh, whoa, Coach Rivers. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I just, I ain't played very well. Man, everybody has down nights. Don't dwell on them. I've seen you play. You've got game. You'll bounce back. Just keep working hard. I will, for sure. Thanks again.